Hi, I'm Christian and I'm in year 12 and I went to the India Immersion Tour in 2019. Hi, I'm Hugo, I'm in year 12 and went on the 2019 India Immersion. I'm Daniel, I'm in year 12 and I'm talking about the India Immersion Tour. Hi, I'm Dion, I'm year 12. Hi, my name's Leon and I'm in year 12. And the Indian Immersion Trip is something that you can never repeat. The most enjoyable part was definitely meeting all the people and just meeting all the children and the parents and the teachers and they were just all so friendly and it was just great meeting everyone. Most enjoyable, most enjoyable was um, hanging with the group of guys that we went along, there was five of us um, and this trip really connected us all closely. Uh, for me the most enjoyable part of our whole trip there was probably one day after the school the school finished, we all hopped on their little school buses and escorted all the kids to their individual villages and houses and they were all so excited to have us on board and show us their houses and show us their mates' houses and their families' houses and we just got to see how these people live, where they live and um, their journey to school each day I guess. Um, the most enjoyable part of the tour, uh, I'd have to say, well it was great all round but I'd say probably just like learning a new culture like I've never never learnt about India like I haven't been there at all until then um, but learning what they do and just how they live their lives was amazing um, I enjoyed the teaching aspect of it um, never thought I'd have never thought I'd like think about teaching but I had some suspicions about it like teaching when I, if I go through uni, and it, that definitely teaching the younger kids there, I definitely could like confirm my suspicions of becoming a teacher. So that that was it was yeah great. It was just really opening. Yeah, most enjoyable part was staying with the school kids and seeing their joy across their face when we were there, anticipating and teaching them. The most challenging thing for me was probably seeing what was happening in the communities and just seeing how they live day to day because they live on pretty much the basic necessities if they even have it and just seeing them live through such difficult situations is just heartbreaking and so it was very challenging and eye-opening just to see how people live. Most challenging aspect was when we went to the village and seeing Larry said literally had nothing, just a little hut for the whole family and a toilet. And also, as you travelled around, seeing those in the slums, homeless, and they've got no organisation to help them. What struck me the most um, during my time in India was meeting a boy in a village in the middle of nowhere. And this young boy, who was probably no older than 11, had lost both of his parents in um, just under a year. And his nan was looking after him and his little sister. And this guy had a smile on his face the whole time. And it was really hard to know that in the car trip there, all of us were complaining about being cramped in. And this guy's doing it tough every day. And um, we're just complaining about little things. I think we all just need to put into perspective how great our lives are compared to them. And just try not to complain as much and just learn from others who haven't got, as, got it as good as us, I guess. Most challenging aspect was to teach the kids. Um, the kids barely know English, and with us, English is our main language. Trying to teach that is pretty difficult, especially when they don't understand what you're talking about. What I saw was extraordinary. Just every, everything was like dirty, all the streets were dirty. There were wild chickens running around, and the shacks were just brick houses and dirt floors. It was just very, Oh. It's just very emotional. Um, probably the biggest thing I would take away from going to India would be um, just to be more grateful in everyday life because we're so lucky and privileged here in Australia compared to pretty much anywhere else in the world and we tend to complain and whinge a lot but we have it so good and there's people out there who are just battling just the make it through a day every single day so I think we just need to uh, just be more grateful of what we've got and enjoy the most of our day every single day. I will personally take away that 
to be more gracious and be more gratitude within my life and just live life really enjoyable because it really is much better than what most people live in the world. You learn a lot and you see how lucky you are in a society like this. First you take away like what makes us like really truly happy. Indian kids they didn't have much but they were always happy where we've got quite a lot of stuff that's not really necessary and we're still not as happy as them. The second message I would have taken from India was that Every, when, when we got to St. Eugene's school, um, they were, all treated us like we were family. Like we rocked up and they were all treating us nicely. They'd never met us in our life and they were treating us as we were just f like being friends for five years. And this is just amazing. Like it's just a sense of like family, a sense of um, welcoming and it was a great feeling. It is a trip that is, that can touch your heart 